mixture adsorption and microporous crystalline materials such as uh, zeolites and metal organic frameworks is commonly competitive in nature. The competition in mixture adsorption is usually in favor of the uh, guest that has the stronger binding. With increasing pore occupancies, the uh, smaller gas molecules are uh, favored due to entropic effects and the balance between enthalpic contributions, i.e. binding, and entropic contributions due to uh, packing efficiencies dictates the uh, competitive mixture adsorption characteristics that in um, many cases is adequately described by the ideal adsorbed solution theory. In this presentation, I uh, discuss the concept of cooperative mixture adsorption. To set the scene for this presentation, let's uh, consider the adsorption of mixtures of CO2 and methane in uh, sodium x zeolite, more commonly termed 13 x zeolite. Carbon dioxide binds strongly with the extra framework cations due to its strong quadrupole moment. If we compare the uh, component loadings for mixture adsorption indicated by the filled symbols, the red circles are for CO2 loadings in them for mixture adsorption, the green squares are for methane loadings for mixture adsorption. We compare these with the corresponding component loadings for the Unary isotherms indicated by the uh, open symbols. The white spheres are for CO2. The white squares are for methane. We see that uh, in the mixture, the uh, CO2 loadings are practically the same as for the pure component, whereas for methane, the loadings of the mixture are considerably lower by about one and a half orders of magnitude than the corresponding values of the pure component loadings. Put another way, in the uh, competition for mixture adsorption, CO2 wins the battle hands down and uh, methane loses this competition um, the dash lines are the uh, calculations of the mixture adsorption loadings using the ideal adsorbed solution theory the uh, IAST also anticipates the, that methane will lose the battle for mixture adsorption. There are quantitative differences, albeit slightly, between uh, the IAST predictions and the uh, values determined from uh, configurational bias Monte Carlo simulations, and this is. Uh, due to uh, inhomogeneous distribution of uh, the gas molecules within the pore space. Further explanation is provided in this uh, publication. This is normal behavior in, in the sense that uh, 
we have uh, competitive absorption between uh, CO2 and methane in 13 x zeolite. A different scenario emerges for absorption of water ethanol mixtures in DDR zeolite. DDR zeolite consists of uh, cages with a volume of 278 cubic angstrom. Each case, cage is separated from adjacent cages by uh, narrow windows whose dimensions are 3.6 and 4.4. These are eight ring windows. Configurational bias Monte Carlo simulations for mixture adsorption are compared with uh, the data on uh, the unary isotherms in this graph in which the component loadings are plotted against the uh, partial fluid phase fugacity. The uh, component loadings for mixture adsorption are shown by the uh, filled symbols, red circles for water, green squares for ethanol. The open symbols are for the urinary isotherms. We note that for partial fugacities in the uh, bulk fluid phase, lower than about 10 kilopascals, the uh, Ethanol loading in the mixture is practically the same as the uh, ethanol loading for the pure component. On the other hand, we note that the water loading in the mixture is significantly higher than the water loading for the pure components. In other words, The uh, mixture absorption appears to uh, yield significantly higher values of the component loadings for water as compared to the uh, pure component. This uh, enhancement in the water loading is uh, commonly termed as a cooperative absorption. The dash lines are the uh, calculations of the IAST and uh, we note that the IAST anticipates the phenomenon of cooperative absorption of water, albeit only to a qualitative extent. The uh, enhancement in the water loadings is due to strong hydrogen bonding between water and ethanol uh, gas molecules as evidenced by uh, data on the radial distribution functions shown in the uh, subsequent slide. In this graph, we plot the uh, distances between oxygen and hydrogen atoms for pairs of water water molecules shown in red, pairs of ethanol ethanol molecules shown in green, and water ethanol molecules drawn in black. We note in all three cases there is a strong peak at distances smaller than two angstrom. This short distance lower than uh, two angstrom is a typical characteristic of hydrogen bonding. So there is strong hydrogen bonding 
between water and ethanol. There's also hydrogen bonding between water and water and between ethanol and ethanol. Essentially, uh, the water ethanol hydrogen bonding results in a strong enhancement in uh, the absorption of water molecules because, as it were, water writes piggyback on ethanol, which is the most strongly absorbed. But due to hydrogen bonding, water gets, gets dragged along with uh, ethanol into the uh, pores and enhances its loading in the mixture. On the right hand slide, we plot the enhancement in the water loading as uh, the component loading in the mixture demanded by the component loadings for the uh, urinary isotherm as a function of pore occupancy. For water ethanol mixture adsorption in um, Shabbosite, yellow diamonds, DDR, blue triangles, ZIF8, red circles, Fulgicite, cyan uh, hexagons, LTA zeolite, gray stars, for all these five absorbents, the uh, water loading in the mixture is significantly higher than that of the pure component for a range of four occupancies shown here. So cooperative absorption leading to enhancement of water loadings is typical of water ethanol mixture absorption in a, ver in a variety of host materials. Further information is provided in these publications. So cooperative absorption appears to be a direct consequence of hydrogen bonding between the uh, constituent uh, gas molecules. 